Hello, welcome to MoFa News, your most reliable source of Korean public diplomacy news. I'm Mo Chu Hye from Public Communication Division to MoFa. Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs Choi Jong Moon paid a visit to the air own the Korean ice-breaking research vessel on June 8th with the diplomatic cars representing the Arctic Council member countries and introduce Korea's Arctic research and diplomatic activities. During the reception held on board the Aeron to welcome the diplomatic cars, Vice Minister Che emphasized the importance of research on climate change in the Arctic, where temperature had risen two to three times faster than in other parts of the globe, and called for international cooperation to respond to climate change in the region. Also noting that climate change is a challenge to humanity, Vice Minister Che called for the need to strengthen bilateral and multilateral cooperation to contribute to the sustainable development of the Arctic region. In addition to the officials of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Oceans and Fisheries, the reception was attended by the heads of related research institutes such as the Korea Institute of Ocean Science and Technology, the Korea Polar Research Institute, and the Korea Research Institute of Ships and Ocean Engineering. This event served as an opportunity for each institute to introduce their activities to the diplomats of Arctic countries and to enhance their network. The members of the diplomatic corps expressed appreciation for Korea's active participation in the Arctic-related activities as an observer of the Arctic Council. Meanwhile, the Aeron concluded its activities in the Antarctic last March and arrived at the Kwangyang port in South Jeolla province for maintenance. The icebreaker will depart for the Arctic next month and to support the research of scientists. And this is Mofa News. Thank you.